All right then, so when we're working with Materialize, we have access to a huge color palette. And we have different classes that we can use to apply these colors to either a background of an element or the text color of an element. So I've gone to color over here on the navigation. And if we scroll down a little bit, we're going to see this huge palette of different colors right here. And on each color, we can see it has a few different classes. So say, for example, this one here, this has a class of indigo. The hex code of that color is to the left of these classes. So if we apply this class of indigo to an element, it's going to make the background color of that element this indigo color right here. Now, if we wanted to lighten that color, we could add an additional lighten class to it by saying lighten hyphen one or lighten hyphen two, hyphen three, hyphen four, all the way up to hyphen five to make it lighter and also darken it as well up to four. So darken one, two, three, and four. So this is the way we apply these different classes, these color classes to elements to get these different colors. And as you can see, there's absolutely loads of them. So let's have a go now at trying to use these different colors to apply colors to our elements over here, the background and the text color. So as you can see, I've already got a container and these five different H5 tags right here. And in each one, there's an Oscar Wilde quote. So what we're going to do is try playing around with the color a little bit of these different H5s to change the background and the text color. So first of all, this top one, be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. So say, for example, I want to make this have a blue background. At the minute, it just has a white background. That's the default behavior. But if I want a blue background, I can just apply the blue class to it. And that makes the background of this element blue. Cool. So what if I want to darken this now? Well, I can just add on the additional class, darken hyphen one or darken two, etc., And that is going to darken this blue now to make it a little bit darker. Maybe you can't notice the difference there, but if I go to darken four, then you should notice the difference because it makes it quite a bit darker. There we go. But we can barely see this now. So let's change it back to darken one and save that. OK, so next, say we want an orange background. So we'll give this a class of orange for the next one. And then let's make this lighter. So we'll say lighten hyphen four. So if I go over here now, we can see the orange background, but it's a really pale orange because we've given it that lighting class as well. All right, so let's try changing the text as well as the background. So first of all, let's give this one, the third one, a purple background. So we'll say purple. I also want to darken the background. So I'll say darken hyphen three. Then I want to give this white text because at the minute, if we preview this, then we can barely see the black text on it. I want to make this white. So how do we color the text of an element? Well, all we do is use the color keyword. So white and then hyphen text. So if we wanted this to be purple text, we'd say purple text. Or if we want it to be red, then red text, etc. We want it to be white. So we'll say white text. And this makes the text white. All right. All right, then. So let's try a couple more examples. Let's go down here and we'll say for this one, we want it to have a background of teal. We also want to darken hyphen two that color to make it a bit darker. We want some yellow text. So we'll say yellow hyphen text right there. And we also want to lighten the text because at the minute, if we save and preview, I think this yellow is a little too dark. I want to lighten the text a little bit. So how do we lighten the text? We know how to lighten and darken the actual background. But when it comes to text, it's pretty similar. All we do is we say text hyphen lighten and then hyphen whatever number. We'll say three. So text lighten three. And if we save that, we can see that this now is a bit lighter, this yellow text. Awesome. So let's try darkening the text as well. For this one down here, we'll give this a yellow background. We'll say lighten hyphen three to lighten the background. Then we want purple text. And what we'll do is just preview this for now. We'll save it and preview it. And we can see it there. But I want to darken this text. So I will say text hyphen darken and hyphen two to darken it twice. So if we check this out, we can see now this is a bit darker. All right, then. So there we go. They're the different colors and the way we can use them. Again, I'll leave this link down below so you can check out all of the different colors available to you and the different classes that we have to get those colors. And by the way, we can also apply these accents right here. And that just gets us a slight variation of the color. So for example, pink accent two or accent three. 
So there's tons of different colors to choose from, but the takeaway points here are to remember to get a background color, we say the class name of that color. To get a text color, we say the class name of the color followed by hyphen text. Then we can use darken and lighten to lighten the background and text darken and text lighten to lighten or darken the text.